Hi from the Secret Service. It's from the State Attorney's Office. We are going to give you everything we have. Okay. Everything. All right. So when we get done, think about your questions because we're not going to take a lot. And keep them to the information that you heard. Don't get into what ifs and because of this. Okay. Let's hear it. We're not going to go there. All right. All right. So keep that in mind and we'll be good. Mm -hmm. So here we go. All right. 1 30 this afternoon. Call came out, shots fired. That was yep. called in by the Secret Service. Because we're in constant contact with them all the time, we were notified of that, and we had units here that immediately sealed off the area. Fortunately, we were able to locate a witness that came to us and said, hey, I saw the guy running out of the bushes. He jumped into a black Nissan, and I took a picture of the vehicle and the tag. Great. Which was great. Yeah. So we had that information. Our real-time crime center put it out to the license plate readers. And we were able to get a hit on that vehicle on I-95 as it was headed into Martin County. We got a hold of Martin County Sheriff's Office, alerted mm -hmm. them, and they spotted the vehicle and pulled it over. Okay. And detained the guy. They got After his After that, ass. we took the victim I'm sorry, the witness that witnessed the incident took flew uh -huh. him up there and he identified as the person that he saw running out of the bushes that jumped into the car. Okay. So they now, said that's in the, the guy. bushes where this guy was is a eight K forty seven style rifle with a scope, two backpacks which were hung on the fence that had a uh, ceramic tile in them, and a GoPro ceramic which tile? he was gonna take pictures of. So those are being processed we right turn now. turn the kick stream. The Secret Service agent that was on the course did a fantastic job. What they do is they have an agent that jumps one hole ahead of time to where the president was at. And he was able to spot this rifle barrel sticking out of the fence and immediately engage that individual. Damn. At which time the individual took off. They got his ass. So that's what we know about the investigation. We have somebody in custody Saw right through now a fence. that is a potential suspect. We got a little bit more work to do on it. But as we usually do, as soon as we decide that we're going to book him into the county jail and the charges that he's going to be booked into, we'll get those to you and we'll get a picture of him and we'll get you his background. Ooh. So now I'm going to turn it over to the representative of the Secret Service and he's going to make a uh, free okay. statement. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. I first want to thank uh, all of our law enforcement partners, to include the uh, Palm Beach Sheriff's Office and the Martin County Sheriff's Office for mm -hmm. their involvement today. Uh, former President Donald Trump is safe and unharmed uh, following a protective incident shortly before 2 p.m. on Sunday at Trump International Golf Club at West Palm Beach. Uh, the U.S. Secret Service personnel opened fire on a gunman located near the property line, and this matters on their investigation. I'll turn it over to uh, my partners over at the FBI. Okay, here we go. These are the ones that said it was an assassination, right? Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jeffrey Veltri. I'm the special agent in charge of the FBI's Miami Field Office. The FBI has assumed the role as the lead federal law enforcement agency in the investigation of the incident that occurred earlier today at Trump International Golf Course here in West Palm Beach, Florida. We've deployed a number of resources, including the investigative teams, crisis response team members, mm -hmm. bomb technicians, and evidence response team members as well. What we need right now is for the public to avoid the area around the golf course. We will continue to support this investigation with the full resources of the FBI. Alongside our partners with the United States Secret Service and the Palm Beach Sheriff's Office, as well as Martin County Sheriff's Office and state and local law enforcement. I would ask that if anyone has any information that may assist with this investigation, to contact our tip line at 1-800-CALL-FBI or at tips that's T I P S. In case you can't spell. FBI. Dot gov. Wait, how do you spell Thank FBI? You. Hi, I'm Dave Ehrenberg, State Attorney for Palm Beach County. I want to thank Sheriff Bradshaw and our partners at the local, state, and federal levels. Uh, I'm here because our prosecutors are currently working up 
warrants and a motion for pretrial detention for the suspect. Uh, in that way, he will be kept in custody. But our filing of these warrants and charges at the state level does not preclude federal charges that could be coming. Uh -huh. But in the meantime, it looks like the, uh, the warrants and the pretrial detention motion will happen first. And again, I want to thank the cooperation we've had with our federal partners and at the local level. And uh, thank you all for being here today. Well, here okay. we go. We're going to make these pictures available to you. It'll show you a picture of the backpack and the rifle. All right, let's get it. There's also a GoPro on the fence there where he was uh, intent on uh, filming what was going on. Even though we're going to have to secure a couple of areas around the, the golf course here, the public doesn't need to panic. We know that we got a post office, a library, and a school down the street. So we'll make it convenient for you to get to all the places you need to go, get your kids to school. This get guy's bringing the, the fuck office, out. Look at that ring. You need to go. It's safe. There's no more danger here, and we'll make it very convenient for you. So Ooh. having said that, we're going to take a very limited amount of questions, and you can direct them to who you want to answer the question. Sure. Did this individual make any statements as he was being no statement right now as far as his involvement in the incident and uh, there's further investigation to be completed. What was his demeanor like? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if maybe the Secret Service gentleman answered. I misunderstood, but I understand. So there was a rifle. So one of your agents saw on the golf course, saw a rifle pointing to a fence. Was it a chain? Okay. He's showing the photo. So saw that, the agent? That is correct, yes. And the, and the president, or former president, was on the course behind him. It was one or two holes behind. That because mm -hmm. the bubble moves across, uh, through the uh, golf course, so our agents will get there first, clear it. He noticed that the rifle was pointing out. Our agents engaged. So the guy was camping. Uh, we are not sure right now if he was the waiting. individual was able to take a shot at our agents, uh, but for sure our agents were able to uh, to engage with the uh, with the subject. Yep. I, 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 there it is. The the, the Pearson. Campers get wrecked. Yeah. I know. How far away was the president? Oh, good question. When this gentleman was caught and stopped, I, probably between three and five hundred yards. But with a rifle and a scope like that, that's not a long distance. Yeah, they could have got his ass. So the Secret Service, uh, Damn. How far was your agent from the would be assailant? That I, I, I'm not. I'm not sure right now. That's we're still looking into. Reports of the four rounds of ammunition were fired. Were all four of those from your agent? That is correct. Four to six. We're not sure yet. Mm -hmm. Was it a long distance? Why yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. I mean, how this was able to happen? I didn't hear all. Say that one more time and talk up a little bit. Um, so, how was this able to happen? And for future reference, is there any other security at a golf course? Well, you got to understand the golf course is surrounded by shrubbery. So, so, when somebody gets into the shrubbery, they're pretty much out of sight. All right? And at this level that he is at right now, he's not the sitting president. If he was, we would have had this higher golf course around it. But because he's not, the security is limited to the areas that the Secret Service deems possible. So I would imagine that the next time he comes at a golf course, there'll probably be a little bit more people around the perimeter. That makes sense. But yeah. the Secret Service did exactly what they should have done. They provided exactly what the protection should have been, and their agent did a fantastic job. Yeah, they popped his ass. They got his ass. Are you true? <laughs> The layout of the golf course, you've got three holes, five, six, and seven, mm -hmm. all right? One of them runs parallel to Summit Boulevard. One of them runs parallel to Congress. Not and the sitting president, so we should allow him to be assassinated? The, uh, that's, what, that's what he said. He could see both holes. Yeah. So the president said. was another hole back, which means he's about between four and 500 yards away. So he was on the golf course? Oh, he's on the golf course, yeah, but he's back a ways. For the Secret Service, have you guys changed at all the way that you guys are protecting? Fucking obviously they have. That's why they got him. Yes, the the threat yeah, level obviously. is high. Uh, we have increased the uh, the amount of assets that we've supported. 
So we are, um, we live in danger times, so yes. The, uh, we're, no, we're done with questions right now. Nope. There's really nothing more for so us no to add. bitch. I just want to tell you, the Secret Service and the FBI and the State Attorney's Office have been fantastic to work with. And I can tell you right now, our agency, with this real-time crime center, was fabulous. That's how we got the guy. We started hey, out we're with, great. we don't know anything, to where we had a tag, we had Hype a vehicle band, description, yeah. and we got an area where we saw the person. So be proud, be proud of your law enforcement. All right. Thanks, folks. We'll get back to you. There it is. So that the Palm Beach County Sheriff Rick Bradshaw uh, ending that news conference by saying uh, they all should be proud of their law enforcement officers. He spoke initially uh, describing events um, first unfolding at about 1.30 in the afternoon when shots were fired. We were ready to go. Had the vehicle flagged, we would have stopped it. Uh, of course, God forbid, had there been a gunfight, we were ready to engage. Thankfully, we're done. because of good That's tactics, it. stopping the car, felony stop, getting him yeah. out of the vehicle, coming back to us, we were able to stabilize Incredible, the scene right? without any further violence. Give us a timeline here. When did you first identify that vehicle and when were you able to finally stop him? It was just right after 2 o'clock this afternoon. The audio is fucked still. The BM lookout that we received from south of us, that uh, our road units picked the vehicle up. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we All waited pops, a while. We bro. didn't stop him right away. We didn't want a high speed chase. So we were able to wait until we had adequate units, surrounded the vehicle, and Jesus. then forced it to a stop. I know this is a fluid situation, but did the suspect put up any fight, or did he stop once he realized there was multiple vehicles there following him? Oh. We did not give him an opportunity to put up a fight. So we had him contain him contained, forced off the road, taken out of gunpoint, pulled back in what we call a felony stop. So he didn't safely he didn't put up a fight. And as you said, you believe this so may he be the suspect and the vehicle down involved swinging? in the incident down in Mar-a-Lago. I know it's still a very fluid situation here. This is the vehicle and this is the suspect and he is in custody. So is he in the custody right now at the Martin County Jail or is he taken somewhere else because of the involvement down in Mar-a-Lago? He is currently in custody uh, by the Martin Sheriff's Office, my agency, but as soon as the FBI Secret Service are ready, we'll transfer his custody over to them. Final question for you here. Obviously, a fluid situation out there on I-95. It's going to be shut down, I would imagine, still for a I'm while. Just use the what's the process audio. out there, and what's your warning? I might just use this audio. Of course, God forbid, had there been a gunfight, we were ready to engage. Thankfully, because of good tactics, stopping the car, felony stop, getting him out of the vehicle, Coming back to us, we were able to stabilize the scene. They refused to mention the words assassination Give us a attempt, timeline. just he, like last time. When did you identify that vehicle and True, when were you brother. able to stop him? It was just right after 2 o'clock this afternoon. Kamala Harris got ratioed. Following the BOLO, the BM lookout that we received from Ooh. south of us, that uh, our road units picked the vehicle up. And then uh, we waited a while. We didn't stop Ooh. him right away. We didn't want a high-speed chase. Ouch. So we were able to wait until we had adequate units surrounded the vehicle and then forced it to a stop. I know this is a fluid situation, but did the suspect put up any fight or did he stop once he realized there was mm -hmm. multiple vehicles there following him? We did not give him an opportunity to put up a fight. So we had him contained, contained forced off the road, taken out of gunpoint, pulled back in what we call a felony stop, and he was safely taken into custody. And as you said, you believe this may be the suspect and the vehicle involved in the incident down in Mar-a-Lago. I know it's still a very fluid situation here. This is the vehicle, and this is the suspect, and he is in custody. So Damn. is he in the custody right now at so the Martin sure County Jail, or ass. is he taken somewhere else because of the involvement down in Mar-a-Lago? He is currently in custody uh, by the Martin County Sheriff's Office, my agency. But as soon as the FBI Secret Service mm -hmm. are ready, we'll transfer his custody over to them. This Final is a question for you here. No, obviously, not. a fluid situation out there He's on just saying I the same thing. It's going to be shut down, I would imagine, still for a while. What's yeah, the process the same out there, and over and what's over. your warning for drivers headed around this area? Yeah, if you're northbound on 995 and you're approaching Palm City, we're right here in Palm City, Florida, mm -hmm. get off and go to the turnpike. We had to clear the vehicle with an explosive vehicle uh -huh. on loan to us. Explosive dog from uh, the San Luis County Sheriff's Office. Uh, Governor DeSantis made contact with us and let us know we had all the FP help we wanted. And of course, we're profoundly thankful that we were able to neutralize the suspect and to hopefully 
increase the uh, safety for D President Trump. One other question. Uh -huh. Can you tell us what kind of vehicle it was, what you found inside? It, it was a, uh, let me let me leave it at this. It was a dark colored, middle year SUV, but I think the specifics will be released by the federal authorities. Sheriff, is there anything else that's important to note about what you guys did here at this scene or anything else that people need to know out there? But what's very important is this. We took as high a profile felon off the streets as is possible. We did it safely. Nobody else was hurt. That's true. And uh, I'm thankful to the men and women of yep. the Martin County Sheriff's Nobody Office got shot. Lives. Really a significant risk. They had no idea what they were encountering. I mean, think about it. They're stopping a car. The bolo was for a, a suspect who had just fired at the President of the United States with a, with a tactical rifle. Oh, it he said he fired at him. Scarier than that. Sheriff, thank you yeah, very much. We'll very keep you updated here coming back. That's Furnace, the sheriff. Yep. A witness was located who saw a man exactly jump into a expect. black uh, Nissan. The witness was then able to identify the suspect in an AK-47 style rifle and two backpacks the uh, were Twitter. spotted and found by the Secret Service. Let me see. It is just gone at 10 o'clock. This is Sky News at 10 with the breaking news tonight that one person oh has been arrested and an assault rifle recovered. Let's take you through what we know so far. Well, NBC are reporting that a rifle has been recovered Whoa. after gunshots were fired near the Trump International oh, Golf man. Course in and that's the Florida, AK where Donald Trump was playing golf. Fuck, man. One person is being questioned, believed to be the that's person with the weapon outside the fence line. We don't know their political the beliefs course. yet, so witnesses, you know, we'll just have to wait and see. Or more police cars were seen in nearby streets. We've heard from mm -hmm. the White House a, a statement saying that they are pleased that Donald Trump is safe. Kamala Harris says that she's glad that he is safe and that violence has no place in America. That's Donald right. Trump himself That's why we has bomb released other a countries. statement in which he said that he's safe That's and right. well. And he said, I will never surrender. Let's show you those Fucking images anime brought to character. us. Oh boy. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. So he brought two what are Backpacks those? Backpacks were were found. Those look like those, firearms, those reusable the bags you get at Target. Weapon found. Actually, those look like Whole Foods. Near Donald Trump. Cuz they're darker. Golf Target course. be red. In the, the news conference, uh, they suggested that a secret service agent had spotted a rifle sticking out of of the fence. And mm -hmm. on seeing that, had opened fire. It wasn't clear oh, as whether I the suspect... Oh, I see the rifle. Holy fuck, I'm so uh, dumb. I think this fire is it. shot at uh, Secret see? Service agents, but they did open fire on the suspect on seeing that No, she has a shitty camera. Yeah, it's got a shitty fucking camera. Don't come out of me. out of the uh, hey. perimeter fence of the golf course. Well, let's see... The news conference again. I don't want to watch it again. Is this the same one? Because if not, I'm going to move to something else. That's the, uh, the starter. Well, it's still at the news conference. Um, obviously, all the Is Trump gonna do attendees a statement have, have or now left. But we did hear from Palm Beach County Sheriff Ooh. Rick Bradshaw, uh, followed by a Secret Service To be fair, that basically was the same uh, thing. We then heard from the FBI who said they're assuming role as the role as the lead federal law enforcement agency mm -hmm. in the now ensuing investigation. These are the pictures shown in that news conference of the gun and the backpacks uh, found. So he just sitting up there like a, next to a chain link course. fence? Let's cross to our what US idiot. correspondent Mark Stone, who's uh, standing by in Washington. Why didn't, he, why didn't he put that under the grass? Uh, good afternoon, Gillian from he Washington. Put just gone five o'clock in the afternoon here, and the the news what a uh, this hour is Holy a second God. apparent what assassination a attempt right against back. former President Donald idiot. Trump. It was at shortly after 1:30 this afternoon.